Yeah, that's enough cuss words. <laughs> my grandma's here. Come on, come on. <laughs> Can my family stand up? Can we get a round of applause for that? Can they stand up? I had to get their exercise in for the day. <laughs> How y'all doing? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> so, uh, believe it or not, I am a single father. I know you're looking at me, and trust me, I wonder why also. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'm a professional. <laughs> I work for a radio station. So so, I'm a single father, a uh, three-year-old, and we're working on potty training, okay? <laughs> Stay with me. <laughs> we went to Outback the other day, and uh, I was like, hey, buddy, you know, if, if you gotta go potty, just let me know. He's like, duh, da-da. <laughs> I'm a big boy. <laughs> Very good, son. So, we're out there, and uh, he's like, yeah, you gotta go potty. I'm like, all right, cool, man. Thanks for telling me. So, we go to the, uh, the bathroom, and... There's the urinal. And apparently this is the first time my son has seen a urinal. So he's like, I'm like, it's okay, buddy. Just you go pee in it and it's fine. So I stand this way so Chester the molester doesn't look at my kid. <laughs> so I'm standing this way and I'm like, y'all done, bud? He said, yep. I turn around and he shit in the urinal. <laughs> yep. Shit right in the urinal. I said, well, I guess I'm gonna deal with this. So we go out, he's all proud, I'm proud of him, not for shitting in the urinal, but I'm just proud of him. He's like, I went potty in the potty. I said, yes you did. So we, we're sitting down, and I see a busboy, and I hand the busboy 20 bucks. And I'm like, hey man, sorry, what happened in the bathroom? He looks at me like, no, no any less. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> baño. <laughs> I know baño and no. That's the only two Spanish words I know. So uh, we get up, we leave. You see the bus boy running his ass off, holding my $20. <laughs> he says, I no clean up your shit. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> I'm a protective parent. I'm sorry. I'm a protective parent. I'm a protective parent because of my fucked up childhood. <laughs> sorry, mom. <laughs> so, my aunt Terry, God bless her soul, she used to smoke weed a lot. And when I mean a lot, she smoked like the guy in the back right now. <laughs> sorry, bro. <laughs> She used to smoke and drink a lot at the same time simultaneously. We're in the car, and I'm 13, I don't know no better. And she's smoking a cigarette, what I thought was a cigarette. She's smoking a cigarette, and she looks over at me and she says, swear to God, sorry mom, you don't know this story. Swear to God, she's like, don't tell your mom. She was smoking weed. And apparently she took her eyes off the road long enough to where she wrecked the motherfucking car. <laughs> wrecked it right into the woods. I said, holy shit. And without missing a beat, I swear to God, she said, where the fuck the road go? <laughs> oh my God, damn. That's a true goddamn story. That was a true story, holy shit. And all these people start coming around, and I'm like 13, and I'm like, this is motherfucking awkward. <laughs> Speaking of awkward, so one of my buddies come up to me. He's like, hey, man. He's like, I want to go out to the bar tonight. I'm like, cool, man. Let's go out to the bar. I'm like, what do you want to do? He's like, man, it's Halloween. I want you to dress up. We're going to go to the bar. We're going to have fun. I'm like, cool, man. It's right when the Batman movie came out with Key Ledger and the Joker. And I was like, fuck yeah. That's what I'm doing. So I dressed up as a joker, right? And we show up to this club. It's in D.C. <laughs> I'm from Frederick. Um. <laughs> the Outback was the Ritz Carlton. <laughs> so I get in D.C. and I'm like, God damn. So we get in this club, right? And I'm dancing. 
<laughs> That's all I got because I'm fucking fat. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so I'm dancing. All of a sudden, Batman and Robin are fucking dry humping the shit out of me. <laughs> Front and back. I'm like, oh, what the fuck kind of bars? <laughs> I look at myself and I'm like, Chubbs, you are in a motherfucking gay club. Ain't this some bullshit? <laughs> I'm getting fucking anal raped by Batman and Robin because I'm the motherfucking Joker. <laughs> this is some bullshit. <laughs> So, you know, I'm cool with the gays. I'm, you know, we're tight. <laughs> Not sexually, but we're tight. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So I start getting shit-faced. And not because I like to drink. It's because when you're a straight guy in a gay club, shit happens. They apparently like to get you drunk. Because I'm straight. And they're trying to do some fucking church to the molester shit to me. And I'm not down with this shit, but it's okay. I still love you. So I'm there at the bar, and I'm like, God damn, that girl is cute. There's only a couple girls in this motherfucker. I'm like, God damn, girl's cute. Sorry, sweetheart. My girlfriend's in the room. That girl's cute. This is before I met you. I was like, she's just cute. So I walk up to her. I'm talking to her. I'm like, hi. Hey, little girl. My name's Chuck. She's like, I bet it is. <laughs> My buddy comes up to me. He's like, man, come on, man. We gotta go. We gotta go. I said, man, hey. You brought me here. There's a bunch of guys here. You do you your guy thing. I'm gonna do my thing. God damn it. He's like, whatever, man. Do you. I should have. Should have listened to him. <laughs> so I was uh, I was talking to this girl. You know, I gave her my number, and I'm like, come on, let's. I'll walk you outside. You know, I'll be a gentleman. I'll walk you outside. I'm kissing up on her, right? <laughs> She's like, all right, well, I'll call you. I'm like, all right. Come to find out. Her name's Fred, and her dick is bigger than mine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, God damn! But it's all right, because uh, I still talk to him. <laughs> on lonely nights. Because he replies back to my text messages. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been awesome. Thank you so much. I am out.